turn that music off hopefully i won't get it into issues with you too what it do Let's wait a little bit until somebody gets on this joint. What it do? What's cracking? These people, bro, they never come in time. They're probably going to come in like 10 minutes if I'm ready to close down the live as usual. I don't get it. Dime a ver, Ronald, ¿qué es lo que tú dices de lo mío.com? Dame mi verdadera luz. <risa> Coño, al fin. Oye, yo iba mandándote el link. Le mando el link a todos los tigres, muchachos. Nadie entra. Son unos sinvergüenza. Pero después quiere que le esté mandando saludos, que, le, que esto, que lo otro. La gente que más pide y jode a Sara, pero no apoya ni matado. Ni matado apoya. Pero siempre están pidiendo una maldita vaina. Alto, alto. Va a seguir, tú eres otro charlatán, entrate hoy a Chepa. ¿Cómo se oye la voz? Porque estoy aquí afuera en el balcón. Hay mucha brisa. Date el balcón para que perre un chin. Mira el balcón, el flow. El flow mucha brisa. No ah, tú me entiendes. Entonces estamos aquí. Solo un día no entré. Oye, Ronald, que solo un día. Ronald entra todos los días, está bien, pues tú eres mío, tú estás supuesto a entrar hasta cuando está cerrado. 
Estoy en Panamá, mi loco. Yo me mudé para acá. Estoy viviendo aquí. Ya tengo aquí un mes. Estoy aquí de este lado. ¿Cuándo viene? Ay, 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 ay. Sí, yo me mudé para acá. Tú sabes que uno lo que vive es inventando, o tú no sabes. Who else is here today? I see another guy here. I don't know if you don't speak Spanish. I'm sorry, I've been speaking Spanish to my boy Ronald. You know, that's my boy book from way, 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 way back. From way back. So, you know, we just chatting in Spanish. Um, but, I, you know, I... I keep a Spanglish for everyone so everyone is able to participate and understand, you know? So anyways, I'm out here, Panama, Saturday night. I don't know where I'm going tonight, though, because um, I'm really tired. Of, the, the most popular place to hang out here is called Casco Viejo. That's like the tourist place. Downtown is in that area, too. And that's where everybody goes to have fun. Ah, JD, JB says, so... My Espanol is así, así. Ah, good. Then you, you know, should be good. So you can practice. Perf. So, yeah, man. Estoy aquí en Panamá. Panamá. Está bueno, Panamá. No me puedo quejar. No sé tú me entiendes. Estaba de compra hoy, comprando... Comprando una cuanta cosa para el apartamento. ¿Me entiendes? Pero... Mañana tengo que comprar un par de cosas más. I'm starting my new routine. I just started the gym. Three days ago, I went, I worked out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm resting today. I was going to work out today, but they, they closed the gym closed um, early. And I had to do, I have to clean up the room. I had a cleaner. I had a lady come clean my room, my room. I have come clean the apartment. She charged $30 to clean the apartment. She was cleaning for like three hours, bro. Like three hours. I felt bad about it. I gave her $40. I'm like, man, here. So... I bought a whole bunch of stuff and just getting my, my place ready because I'm going to start my routine. I'm going to start working out like serious, serious, serious. Like I'm starting on Monday. I'm going to start at four in the morning. I'm going to do two hours and go to work, then come back again. And Because and, the thing is, I, um, I'm working out right now at night. And when I come up, by the time I get home and do everything else, it's like 7 p.m. By the time I get to the gym, it's like 7.30 Like an hour and a half to two hours in the gym is like 10. 10 to start cooking, preparing my meal and stuff like that. It's like by the time I go to bed, it's like 12. 1, 1 a.m. is just too late, bro. And then I don't get enough sleep. So I'm going to try to do a new routine starting Monday. I'm going to start doing in the morning. I'm going to start working out in the morning. That way I could do, I could have the whole night off because I also want to start taking some. So I'm 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 a, I'm gonna I'm get on a new venture. I'm gonna start doing some new stuff. So you know I need I need like at least three more hours at night so that I could really focus on 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 you know everything else that's coming new. But yeah, man, I'm here. I'm happy. Panama is good. Um, there's a few things that could be better. The dating, the dating, because this is about this shot. I was gonna talk about the beautiful ladies of Panama. And how is everything going when it comes to that? If, you know, if a lot more people come, we could really discuss it. JB says, about to sign a lease at you. Oh, what? But, but do you here in Panama? Are you you're coming to Panama? Because I know there's a residential um, building here called the U. And on, 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 on Balboa, on Balboa Avenue. So, I mean, it's supposed to be like a really fancy joint. I actually had a, um, I had a couple of appointments to come see them. Yeah, yeah, Benita Balboa, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually had an, an appointment to come see a couple of places. They had a lot of places. They had a lot of availability right now. Because it's, it's one of the high-end um, condominiums here. Like, it's, it's super, super high-end, bro, so... 
um, from what I hear, there's a lot of parties, like after parties that go down there. They have a couple of really nice restaurants. The pool gets crazy from what I hear. I mean, yeah, yeah. JB says expensive, but really nice. Yeah, it's supposed to be expensive. The one that I was getting, the ones that they were trying to get for me, it was going to be about 1600 to 1700 because I was going to get a couple of months um, free. So that was going to be the equivalent to like 1700 or something like that. But actually, I didn't I didn't take it because, dude, I'm trying to stay focused and I try to, you know, make it all about me and growth and, and business and stuff like that. And if it's going to be party like that, bro, if it's going to be beautiful females coming in and out after freaking parties, like, I'm not because I'm not going to be able to focus. I'm like, man, let me just. Let me just get out of there because I'm, 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 I don't know if you know the city, bro. I'm, I don't know if you know the city, but I'm by Park Hill Mar. And, you know, I got a really good spot, bro. I'm on like a really high floor by Park Hill Mar. Like I could walk to the gym. I, I have a really good supermarket close to me. You know, I got a couple of restaurants around me, even though that I don't get a restaurant. I do my own cooking now. So um, I'm good. And this spot is mellow. It's chill. It's really nice. You know, I could in, impress any lady that comes through. I will always be like, because I have a crazy view, bro. It's nice at night, but it's even better. It's even better in the daytime because I have, like, ocean on the right side. And I don't know if you know where um, Punta del Este, Punta del Este, Costa del Este is. So I have Costa del Este, the ocean. And then on the left side, I have the city view, too. So, like, I'm good. I'm good for now. Maybe in the future... Once I'm ready, because I had an option. I was going to go for the U, or I was going to do the victory. The victory, I can see them from my window. There's two of them. It's like the health victory, and it's supposed to be. Those, those are also of the same scale as, as, as the U. So if you haven't bought or you haven't spent money on the U, check out victory, too. Victory, the victory um, condominiums are very nice, too. You see this barrio? Yeah, yeah, barrio. I'm no, I'm not in a barrio. I'm actually in San Francisco. So we're still in the same. I don't. I, yeah, I think. Um, I don't know. The U.S. of Miramar or San Francisco. I don't know. Whatever it is, we're super close. I just came from that area. I was at the at the, at the mall, and I passed by the I passed by the U on my way home. Crazy. The Uber was like two dollars, two fifty or something like that. Uber is. I think when it comes to. Yeah, Marbella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on Marbella. Yeah. Yeah, Marbella. I mean, I was. I. I. Again, I saw like. Like thirty to forty different condos and apartments before I chose this one. And to be, this is crazy. This is the first one I saw. This is the very first one I saw. It was like they was doing a lot of construction, so I didn't like it, and I left, and I never called the lady back. And then towards the end, I had to make a decision. I had like four different places that I wanted to, and I was like, you know what? This is the one I'm going to take. This is good for now. Let me do a year here. If I like it, I'll stay another year. If I don't, then I keep it moving. There's plenty to choose. There's plenty to choose. There's so many nice places here. And once you move, once you're here, you see even more, because now that I'm here, I'm seeing a lot more places, bro. Now I'm seeing like I'm like, oh, I should have I should have come see one here too. Ronald, Ronald, Ronald says, tell me about the discos. All right, so the clubs are are good. The thing, this is the thing, and I've been saying it in in a, in a few of my um lives. I'm not impressed with the clubs out here, man. To be honest, or maybe I'm not going to the right ones. The clubs in Casco, they're corny. I mean, there's only one that I like. It's called it's called Club Santana. The music is good, but there's no hot shorties there. There's no beautiful girls in there. There's nothing but dudes. There's a lot of dudes, man. There's too many dudes. And honestly, I don't normally I don't care. Like it could be a hundred dudes and two girls, but at least those two girls need to be fire. And the thing is, like when I go out, there's a lot of girl, there's a lot of dudes, and then the girls are not are not good, man. They are high. So I'm not impressed with the nightlife here yet. The, what I can tell you is, and I've been saying this in all my lives, 
there's this expat group called Pan Amigos. Whenever they have a party, their parties be popping. That's why I have met most of the people that I know here in those parties. And the females in those parties be on fire. We just did the, the, um, the beach party. It was insane, bro. Like, the best time I had here so far. Businessman, what's up, businessman? Say, I feel you, man. Uh, businessman says, I wasn't impressed with Costa, with Casco Disco. Yeah, man, I'm definitely not impressed with the discos in Casco, man. Not impressed at all. Is this too many dudes? So I don't know. I'm gonna be, keep looking. They're telling me there's a there's a club called uh, called Chill Out. I might go to Chill Out tonight. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I might come to Chill Out, but they say the girls are very young there. It's like a young crowd. So I don't know. I might just go just to for the content and just to you know see what's that all about. But I'm, I'm not super impressed yet. I, what I can tell you, though, the Pan Amigos parties be on fire. Those are the only ones that I'm feeling right now. JB says, I like Costco, but I don't feel that that's real Panama, my opinion. It's my opinion, too. Like, But this is a funny thing. When you talk to Panamanians, they send you to Costco. They'll be like, you know, you should go to Costco. That's the crazy thing. That's the thing that makes no sense to me. You actually don't see them there, but they always suggest that you go to Casco Viejo. And and I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. I think and they pricey as hell too. Like you go to the rooftops, they pricey, bro. They they charge anywhere from thirteen to eighteen dollars for a mixed drink. That's like USA prices, man. Get out of here, man. I always say, this is Central America. They need to chill with the prices when it comes to the drinks. They really need to chill. Come on, I went to this spot. They charged me $3 for a bottle of water. Like, I'm like, what? Get out of here. JB says, oh, I already said that. I'm businessman. What's up? What's up? What's up? Where you at now? JB, where you at? You, you here in Panama right now? What you guys doing tonight? If you in Panama, where, where you where you headed? Ronald, tirate pa acá. Yo, when you come through, we can do this. A, Ronald, there's a there's a party. There's a salsa night in uh, one of the hotels here, the Hilton. Actually, the Hilton is super close to the U to the U building, so. Is right there on Avenida Balboa too. They they're supposed to have like a really good nice nightlife in the Hilton. Una semana es mucho. Tírate cuatro días. Jueves, viernes, sábado y domingo. Con eso es suficiente para conocer. Y después de ahí, tú te tiras por más si te gusta. This this uh the the what is the name of the other? Copper Airline. Ronald Copper Airline has this thing right now that you could um. Do a connecting flight here and stay for a couple of days and then go to the your destination on them. It's free. You could do like you could do like US, um, Panama, Panama, Dominican Republic, and you only pay one trip. So check that out, how that works. And I know there's a lot of people that are doing that right now, that they're doing the connect here in, in Panama. They stay here for like a long weekend and then they go to the destination, to the final destination. Check that out. Oh, JB, you hitting, you coming next month. All right, all right, all right. Hit me up when you get here, bro. But you coming to live out here? Because, I, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, you said that you're trying to get a place here at the U. Oh, you went to CR Costa Rica. Okay. I like Costa Rica. I only been to Costa Rica. Well, I should have been to Costa Rica a couple of times. Um, but um, I feel like Haco, the whole pay for place intense. It's a little bit too intense for my liking. So next time I go, which is going to be soon, I'm going to go to the other side of the country. I'm going to Puerto Viejo, I think it is, and um, Ubita. So I'm going to hit that area. And then from there, I want to go to Bocas del Toro. I haven't been to Bocas del Toro yet. I hear Limon is nice. So I don't know. The thing is that when you go to, when you do trips like that, you need to, 
you need to spend in those countries like at least a month, at least, so that you can really take advantage of the country. How was Limon, JB? Do you like it? Businessman, you're an MD. Aye, aye. When you heading this way, businessman. Oh, you saw that for three weeks. Man, that's a good time. How was the nightlife in Limon? Do you like it? I hear Santa Teresa nightlife is sick. I met some dudes in, in Argentina and they were just coming from, from Costa Rica and they said the nightlife in Santa Teresa was off the hook. They said it's pricey, but it's good. And this is the thing. All right, let's put it like this. Casco Viejo is, is pricey, whatever, we take it. But at least, come on, the quality of the females need to be better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care. All right. You know, if I'm going to go out, I'm not going out just to be cheap. If I'm going to go out, I, it's because I'm ready and I'm able to spend the money. I spend it. But the quality got to be better. I'm not going to go spend money to be looking at a whole bunch of dudes, man. I'd rather stay home. JD says, love my Afro Caribbeans. Yes. Yes, JD. 100%. I agree with you. Businessman says, I celebrated my birthday in Panama last March. Was my first time in Panama. How do you how do you like it, businessman? Do you really were you feeling it? Are you gonna come back? JB, not many spots, but the uh, ones they have are fire. I'm down with that. Because that's that's the same thing in Puerto Escondido in Mexico. Puerto Escondido doesn't have a lot of spots. But the ones they have be fire. Actually, I need to go back to Puerto Escondido as soon as possible. But I mean, that's another spot. But I, I like places like that. I like places that don't have a lot of spots. That's even better. Because then everyone goes to the same area. Because, like, for example, Santo Domingo in DR, there's so many places that, bro, like people got too many choices. So everybody's all over the place. Even though everywhere you go on a freaking weekend in DR is good. But it's, it's a lot of choices. I like it even better when there's only like three, four places that everyone goes to. Because you know you're going to, everywhere you go is going to be a hit. Businessman says, I like it. I was thinking about coming back during Memorial Day weekend. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear in, um, another one of my, my friends was telling me that he might come for Memorial Day weekend. I was asking around that they tell me there's nothing special here, nothing's going on, it's, a, it's just a regular weekend. Actually, this weekend and next weekend here are good because they get pay um, an extra paycheck for something. I mean, I guess they have an extra um, month pay here in Panama. They get, they, it's called Aguinaldo, or they call it the, the Diezmo, something like that. So it's split in three, in three, in three quarters. So you get the first payment this one now, and then you get the other one like three months from now, and then you get the next one in December. So, you know, whenever you get paid that extra check, everyone is out. So I think this weekend, some of the people that got paid this weekend are gonna be walling out. But then the funny thing is that they strictly get paid the 15th or the 30th. So some companies that have like the American ways of paying, which is every two weeks, got paid on Friday. But the rest of the country is getting paid on Monday. So if we got paid on Monday, you know you are gonna go out next weekend, if that makes sense. So the people that got paid this Friday, they're walling out today and yesterday. The people are good that get paid on Monday are gonna wall out next weekend. So this week and next week is gonna be nice. It's gonna be actually nice to even travel. Uh, locally, what I mean, like uh, around this, around the country. The B says, what's the best way to reach you? Check me out on IG. Best place to uh, check me out is on IG. It's the same old platform, right? Harper INTL on IG as well. Yeah, man. Um, I've been I've been doing some research on on the San Blas Islands. That's that's a destination I want to hit bad. Matthew Owen, Ray, where you from? I'm from New York, originally from DR. 
born in DR, raised in New York. Um, so yeah, man, um, the females here, I mean, this is the thing, because this life is supposed to be about the beautiful ladies of Panama. Here's the thing. What I like about the Panamanian women is that they have this mixed culture. Like, it's, it's in a way like Brazil. You can find them in every shape, in every form, in every color. But the ones that are a mix, like white and black, or not white, but like light skin and black, to me, are the most beautiful. Because they, they have this beautiful complexion with like this beautiful hair and then they're just amazing. And then they got the body too. So to me, those Afro Panamanian are of the shame, of the shame. And when you find the right one too, they got everything you need, bro. And they got the different culture, which is beautiful. Now, I'm not saying the light skin Panamanians are, not, are bad. They are beautiful as well. Love them too. Love them too. Love my Afro. Love my my light skin Panamanians as well. Another good thing is that because we are so close to South America, Panama is in Central America, but we are super close to Colombia, which is in South America, and we are very close to Venezuela, which is also also in South America. There's a lot of ladies from Venezuela. There's a lot of ladies from. Colombia. And you guys, I don't even have to go into details because you know what that looks like. You know the girls from Panama, from Venezuela are amazingly beautiful. You know the girls from Colombia are beautiful as well. So that's a good thing because it's like a melting pot here. There's beautiful ladies from everywhere, man. And and when you find that spot where they at, it's a wrap. Like I said, those parties that, that I'll be going to from the, the expat community, they be on fire and everyone speaks English. That's beautiful. I mean, not like it's a problem for me because I can speak Spanish fluently, but it's even better because I have a better game in, in English. I'm able to kick it better in English. You know, my game in Spanish is whack. I just be, <laughs> it's whack as hell. I don't got much to say. JB said that's why I chose Panama is the gateway to Central and South America. Exactly, my friend. You never lie, bro. You don't never lie. Um, that's the reason why I chose Panama as well, because um, I've been saying it for a minute now. I really want to conquer Central America. I feel like there's not a lot of content on Central America. And I really want to take over Central America. I have content right now on all the countries of Central America. I'm only missing Belize. And I'm going to do that pretty soon. The thing is, I want to do something big for Belize. I was actually watching some content about Belize today. It seems like there's a lot of brothers and there's a lot of um, expats buying land in Belize, man. So I really want to get down with that because, I mean, it seems like it's a, it's a good way to go. And, you know, if you could join that trend right now, Think about it, guys. If it becomes another Tulum, if it becomes another Bali, if it becomes another Medellin, and you have a good spot over there, man, the opportunities, bro, they, they are crazy, man. You could make a really good buck. You could make a buck if, if, if you are able to, you know, to jump on the wagon early. Because that's the thing, like we travelers, we go everywhere, but sometimes by the time we get there, it's too late, you know, to for business. Like, you know, when it comes to traveling, it's, it's always good. But when it comes to you, when it comes to doing business and stuff like that, by the time we get to these places, it's too late. So I hear from what I hear, Belize is a good spot right now to to buy land. To work to join the real estate community, man, and and real estate is always good. That's that's money that always keeps going up. It's not like buying a car. When you buy a car, it gets the value as soon as you take it out of the dealership. But when it comes to land, always goes up. JB says, if not Panama, where will you lay your head? Well, you know, I'm Dominican, so. Um, that's like my second home. And, you know, 
I was gonna have a home in DR. I'm also building in DR. I have land in DR. Like, um, I mean, I could always, I could just retire in DR right now. I could just go finish my my house, and I have land that I have, that I'm using as a farm. Over there, we call it. Como le decimos eso, Rona? Like, yeah, eh, una finca. I have a finca. It's what we call a finca. So I have a finca too, and. And that's that. But um, I'm here to be honest, JB, man. I'm just here so that I could focus on me, so I could focus on being a better person, a better me, and I could focus on business. And I really trying to get my head straight and focus on business, man. I, I want to get this this channel to launch because I mean I've been doing a lot of content, and if to be honest, when you look at my engagement when you look at my subscribers man i'm nowhere close to where i need to be with the type of content that i'll be putting out with the type of information that i've been sharing man i've been sharing a lot of good info i have more followers on ig than i have here and i put a lot more content more valuable content here ig is just regular stuff but here i put valuable content that really helps out other people and I know because people reach out to me from other countries and let me know, like, hey, this person was here because of you and stuff like that, like business owners like and stuff like that, they reach out or leave me comments like, you know, thank you for promoting my club. And this is all free, man. I don't charge no, none of these suckers and see. And, and, you know, they get the benefits, which is fine. You know, it is what it is for now. <laughs> But yeah, man, the ladies of Panama City, bro. Um, when it comes to um, dating sites, um, I tried Tinder just to see what it looked like so I could give you guys the content. And it's really not, it's not really kicking like that. Like I had a few likes and they just don't respond back. Like they like you, but then they don't engage on a conversation. So to me, that's super corny. I haven't done the other sites. I just did that one. I'm not a fan of dating sites, to be honest. I'm a hunter. I like to meet them in the wild. I like to, you know, do my thing, like, on a personal level. Like, I want to go see them, talk to them, see what's up. Plus, I'm too picky, bro. Like, and these people on those dating sites, they send, they take those professional photos, and then when you see them in person, they look nothing like the picture. Like, I'm not down with that. So I only do it for an experiment just so that I could give you guys the content. But I'm really not feeling – I don't. I, I'm not into those dating sites things. I, I keep it. I have it. I also use it for, for modeling. Like, when I need, like, models to promote my stuff, like, sometimes I go in there and talk to people, see, you know, if I could get them. But um, just to gauge, like, the prices – and then based on that, then I go on IG, I go to Facebook, and then I go, I do promotions like that when I need to hire models for my products. But um, otherwise, I'm not really a fan of dating sites. Matthew Owen says, let's use, I used to go to DR 20, 2007, 2010. Man, why you stop? You need to continue going. That's the thing. I hope you're not that Matthew. I hope you're not the type of person that only goes to Sosua, because Sosua is corny. I will tell you, and uh, I have the. I can say it. Shoot, Sosua is the corniest out of all the cities and out of all the towns in Dominican Republic. I hope you guys are able to hear me okay, because I mean the wind is hitting. Hard. I'm in the balcony. If it is, I could walk inside the apartment. Let me know how you, if you're able to hear me okay, if everything is fine. Ronald, te fuiste, ¿dónde tú estás? Matthew Owen says, I like your style. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, Matthew, that's, that's the way to go, going all over. Because, I mean, I'm tired of people saying, judging. They are based on Sosua. Sosua is a small little ass town in Dominican Republic. There's so many other beautiful things in Dominican Republic. There's so many other good things to, to really, really get to know. The culture is amazing. I mean, there's so many good things to see in DR besides Sosua. Like, if anything, I would recommend you go to Sosua last. 
so that when you go, you're really able to really compare. Matthew says, um, I'm escuchando. Oh, that's Ronald. Ronald said, te estoy escuchando, yeah. Um, Matthew says, Sosua used to be way better. Yeah, and I, I don't, I'm not taking anything from Sosua. I just don't like it when people judge the country, the whole country based on the small town of the country. And most of the time they talk about pay for play and they talk about people hustling because they that's what they do. They go to the store, they hustle. You know, you're sitting at the beach, they're going to hustle you. There's gonna, you don't have like 40 people coming over. The same thing they do in Cartagena. The same thing they do in Cartagena. So, but what I'm saying is I'm in, in Boca Chica. They're going to do the same thing in Boca Chica. If you want to do a better beach, go to Juan Dolio, which is another, it's like 40 minutes from Santo Domingo. And you're going to have a way better experience. The beach is better. It's cleaner. People are going to treat you nicer and you're going to be surrounded by locals. Not so many tourists and stuff like that. You're going to see tourists here and there, but it's not going to be as many as Sosua and it's not going to be as many as Boca Chica. Matthew Owen says, girls used to be way prettier. <laughs> they used to be prettier. I mean, the girls that used to go, they used to be prettier. Wandolio is way better, bro. Wandolio is way better. Ask Ronald. Ronald used to go to Wandolio Wando almost every day. Casa de Campo is very good, but it's pricey. That's that's a different demographic completely. You know, that's that's totally different. Yeah, you know, there's a different kind of people that go to Casa de Campo. Not everybody can afford Casa de Campo. That if anything, if you want to go that route, I'd rather you should probably go to Bayaibe. Bayaibe is going to be cheaper, and it's still the same side of the ocean as Casa de, um, Casa de Campo. You're still going to see the same quality of water, the same quality of ocean, and it's going to be a little cheaper. JB says, so sewer is for those who don't know any better. Yes, I agree with you 100 times. But you know what I would say? If you are if your first time traveler, if you're a first time traveler and you want to break the ice like that, I get it. You know, you want to go somewhere close. You want to go somewhere where you're going to find other brothers, other brothers, other tourists. You're going to go somewhere where it's going to be easy for you to, you know, navigate through the through the town and the food is going to be somewhat familiar, it's fine. Do Susua, but don't do it for more than a weekend. Do Susua for a weekend, break the ice, and then go somewhere in the, in, the, in the country. Or go to another country, go to PR, go to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, you don't even have to get a passport. You could travel with your, with your license if you're traveling from the U.S. Granted, I'm not stopping people from going to the R. Dominican Republic is a beautiful country. Everyone should visit Dominican Republic at least once in their lives. It's beautiful. My beautiful, my one of my most, um, I don't know, maybe not, but top three places to go in Dominican Republic right now is Punta Cana Bávaro. Like if I'm gonna go to relax and stay at a resort, I would do Punta Cana. If I want to go an adventure, I want to go to Samana. I will go Samana. And then if I want to go to do something totally new, I will go like Loma de Cabrera, like totally different route. But that's me. Like I, I'm thinking sometime soon, like within the next two years, I want to do a whole year in the yard. Like I want to go all over the yard. I want to do a one year tour. And I'm going to bring it to you guys. But I want to get to at least 10,000 subscribers before I do that. Like, to me, it makes no sense. We like, I don't even have 3,000 subscribers yet. And that's going to cost a lot of money for me to do that type of tour. You know, because, you know, like I was saying in my previous, and Ronald, Ronald could tell you, Ronald is also Dominican. For us Dominicans, Dominican Republic is more expensive than from the regular tourists. Because we have... When we go back, we have to show that we have improved. Because when we leave Dominican Republic, it's for a better life. So if we if we went to if we left our community, if we left our people for a better life, when we come back, we're supposed to support and we're supposed to help the people that we left behind. So when I go out, 
I need to have a car. So I have to rent the car if I don't, if I don't have one already. I, if I go out with my friends, I'm the one paying, regardless of how much you rent uh, the, regardless of how much it is. I have to pay for the nightlife. I need to pay for, and when you go out, you pay for liquor and you pay for dinner. And if you take them to a hotel, you have to pay for a hotel. If you're going to pay for a woman, you need to pay for them. You know what I'm saying? You end up paying a lot more money when you are Dominicans because you need to show prosper, you know, prosperity. You need to show it. So when I go there for a year, I'm going to have to, I'm going to be spending a lot, lot of money. So I want to make sure that before I do that tour, I have at least 10,000 subscribers, and that's not a lot, people, man. I just need you guys to support me with that. Share the video. Send it to your people. Support, like, subscribe, man. Everything that you need to do to support, because the content be crazy, man. And, and, and you take it. My content is from someone that knows how to get around. You know what I'm saying? Like, someone that's going to go and seek Spanish with people. I'm not, like... Like here, I'm here in Panama. When I go here, when I go here in Panama, you get top content because I'm able to maneuver in a way that someone that don't speak the language, that don't know how to travel to this country, is gonna do it. Like I'm already a professional traveler. Like I've been to 27 countries so far, so I know my way of the land already. Besides that, I speak Spanish, you know. So those are two assets that are going to make my content a little bit better from that somebody that don't know these things, that haven't had these experiences. So this is what I'm saying. Like, before I do these long tours, I need to make sure that, you know, I have those be those those subscribers. Matthew Owen says, good night. Have a nice one. Man, really nice meeting you, Matthew. Um, if you ever um, need anything from my side, reach out. If you have any questions, please reach out. I'm here to support you guys with whatever. You know, if there's anything, any way that I could support, I'm here. Thank you for participating. Thank you for coming through. Can't thank you guys enough for, for joining the live. Capcana, Boca Chica. Hey, Capcana is a trip. I, I had an interview. Matt, if you still here, Matthew, I interview one of my friends that he's uh he works for the hotels in Punta Cana and he was giving people tips and, and where to stay, things to do and stuff like that. And he recommended um Cap Cana. He recommended, he said Cap Cana is the best place to go in Barbaro Beach right now. He said that's the best place to go right now. That was his number one choice. Dude, come through, man. Come to Panama. Debbie Marcelo. Come to Panama, man. Panama be fire. Come through. And when you come through, hit me up. Just make sure you hit me up from like Thursday to Saturday. Maybe I could do I could do I could do Sunday early. Cause um, you know, I just started my new routine, my new workout routine, and I cannot I cannot mess up. I'm gonna be really rigid with it. Ronald Marcelo said that's my son. Oh shoot, David is your son? What I do, what I do. Oh shit, I don't even know him in person. But welcome, Mr. David. <laughs> Ronald, you, I'm gonna tell these stories. I'm, shoot, I shouldn't be saying this, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Ronald is my witness right here, guys. He's on the shot. When we were growing up in DR, we I remember that girls that used to go to Sosua, that used to go to Bávaro, they would go do their thing, and they would have their boyfriends in our town. Like they will have, like for example, I will have my, I will have not really my girlfriend, but I would be the one that she would bring the money to. So they will go out to Barbaro, to, to, to all these places, and they will come like on the weekends or they will come whenever they get a chance to bring all the money they get from you guys, tourists. That's how it works. So when you see these women that you're trying to fall in love with and do all, all of the stuff, they already have a man somewhere in the yard waiting for them to give them everything that you gave them. 
So you give them colognes, you give them clothes, they bring those colognes, they bring those clothes to their boy, to their real boyfriend they have. And their boyfriends, of course, they have other girlfriends in their town. But you know, when they come, they they chill with them, and then when they leave, they have their other girlfriends. That's how it is. And Ronald is my witness, because he had a few of those back in those days. You know, I'm talking about back, 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 way back. So when you see them in Sosua, hustling, best believe they have a man in their town that is going to be <laughs> getting all the benefits from you. Yeah, you're going to pay for play, and it's going to be nice that one night, or maybe the next night, but the man is getting all that money, which is fine. I mean, you pay for you pay for what you get. It is what it is, but I'm just trying to let you know, like, don't take that serious. Don't try to... I mean, and if you take it seriously, it is what it is. Just understand that they always gonna have a man in the yard. Like I would say, like ninety-five percent of the time, they're gonna have somebody in the yard. When I says, I don't understand, I don't know what you said. Say a todo that again. I don't know. Say put it write it again. I, I can understand. Write it in English or Spanish. I think you're saying it. I think you bilingual right now, bro. I like bilingual, but I say a no no no. Escribe lo otra vez. So guys, again, I always get a, I always go away from the subject because I know you guys have questions and you want to talk about different things. But this life is about the beautiful ladies of Panama. Like I was saying before, beautiful, beautiful Afro Latinas here, man. Beautiful mix, beautiful light skin, beautiful. I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of white chicks, but the light skin Panamanians and the mix. Panamanians are breathtaking, man. I, I've i seen some beautiful ladies in the streets, man, that I'd be like, and at the gym, too. Woo! If you ever come to Panama to spend time, come to Park Omar. I'm like three blocks away from Park Omar. Park Omar is, for you guys that live in New York or been to New York, it's like the central park of Panama. So the same way New York has a central park, Panama has like basically a central park. And it's called Park Omar. And there's always beautiful ladies like, you know, exercising, running, jogging, and doing all that stuff there. And it's a good place to meet people and to meet beautiful ladies. Um, another place where you're going to meet the amazing, beautiful ladies too is the beach. Um, there's multiple beaches in Panama. There's closed ones, and there's ones that, you know, you need to take a plane or you need to take a, a bus and then a, a boat which is also cool, Bocal Toro, there's the San Blas Islands, there's, there's so many islands, there's so many things to do, and they everywhere, man. Again, I don't, I'm not a guy that really uses the dating apps, the dating platforms. I, I could do the for research to support you guys and let you know how that works, but I'm not into it so much. I, I'm a hunter. I like to go out and meet people in the in the streets, so maybe we're in the clubs and and wherever it might be in the malls. But I'm not I'm not really about that. But for some reason, I'm not the best when it comes to that. But you could definitely find them everywhere, and and again, they're looking amazing. The one thing that I could tell you, in in the month that I've been here, I have met more people from Colombia and Venezuela than actual Panamanians. That's that's really weird. And every time I I, I get to meet. Panamanians, I ask them the same thing, like, why you guys are not out there? This is your country. Uh, we end up meeting, like, people from other countries, expats from other countries than the actual Panamanians, which is super crazy. Anyway, guys, if you guys don't have any more questions, I'm about to go get ready. I'm going to cook something really quick and get ready, man. I'm about to hit the streets. 
and I will report back to you guys what it looked like. I'm gonna see if I could put some to get something together and post it. If I'm able to do a live from the streets, I'll probably do it from the clubs so that you guys get to see what it looking like in real time. If not, I just put it together, edit it, and just put it out this week coming up. But guys, see you on the next one. It's your boy, Ryan Harper. Do not forget to subscribe. Tell your peeps, share the video, man. Let's let's bring this channel to 10,000. Let's do this. Businessman, you going to Costco? I don't think so. I don't think so. I want to go to that place called Chilao. I want to go to that club called Chilao. So even if it is just to report and, and, and do some content, I'm probably going to check it out. When you guys come out here, reach out to your boy. Check me out on IG at Ry Harper INTL. Talk to you guys on the next one. Brrrr, ah.